James Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, he details how, in many cultures, a god voluntarily dies, then is reborn for the sake of their creation. Think of Jesus Christ dying on the cross for the sins of humanity, only to rise two days later. In fact, the engineers are directly tied to Jesus. In an interview, Ridley Scott revealed that our Lord and Savior in earlier drafts was an engineer, his crucifixion being the reason that the engineers turned on humans. But if the engineers' philosophy is rooted in self-sacrifice, then humanity's is the opposite. They want to prolongate life at all costs. Human body when things go wrong, genetically speaking. What if the entire movie is about humanity, us, in the future, challenging this scientific idea of creation? Where did we come from? What we thought we knew in the first alien is just a tiny tributary of what's actually going on. We've tackled a lot of new ground, which opened up the door to a kind of different form of thinking. Get older, get braver. Dare to talk about who made us and who made them. I think you've got to give the fans something new, and you've got. Humanity does finally meet its maker. Things don't go according to plan. No. The engineers become incensed with their creation for perverting their ideology in the pursuit of immortality. As such, they decide to just wipe us out and be done with it. Meanwhile, for the humans, we a lot of potential. And we're stimulating, to use another word. Conceptually, I think the first draft that I read had a lot of potential. And we're stimulating visually to an extent that opened up the universe that I had always seen as a claustrophobic uh, interior movie, suddenly became much more involved with the exterior landscape and exploration of it.